Hey everyone, welcome back to Cod Layers. And today we are delving deeper into the Cod Menu plugin, which will give you the ability to make your site navigation menu more flexible and powerful. Let's see how you can do that. Let's first of all do a quick walkthrough to see what are some of the key features of Quad Menu. Let's get started with the layout options. And here we have a couple of them. This is the collapse one, as you can see. And we also have off canvas, a nice one, a vertical, amazing, as well as an embedded, which allows for a seamless integration within your theme's existing menus or sidebars. Then we have multiple components that we can use in our menus, such as the drop downs, the tabs, as well as columns and carousels. And also more components, which are very cool, like the mini cart, search field, WordPress widgets, login form, links, posts, archives, and many more. We also have a real-time customizer, and we'll refer to this uh, in the back end of our plugin. And we have responsive layouts, which means the menus are also mobile-friendly and any other device friendly. And we have compatibility with the most popular themes, page builders, and translation plugins, such as Astra, DV, Storefront, Elementor, etc. And then we also have a WooCommerce integration. Now let's head to the demo and see what we can actually get using this plugin. And here we can see an example of a dropdown. These are some of the megas, and these are the tabs, as you can see. Amazing. This is the carousel. It's the products. Great. So now let's head to the back end and see and test this ourselves. And now I'm in my WordPress dashboard and I've already installed and activated the quote menu plugin. And once you do so, please head to the options section here. And here you'll find the configurations tab. In this tab, you're going to be able to customize the viewport and to include the viewport uh, meta tag in your site head to set this to on or off. Uh, the style sheet, you're going to be able to load the styles in your uh, existing theme. And if you set this to on, you're also going to need to uh, customize these two fields to normalize and the widget. With the normalize, you can try to clean residual styling of the theme uh, and also load the default widget style sheets. You can also uh, load the perfect scroll bar files and I'll load the OWL carousel files and the icons uh, and these are the uh, font icon for your menus, which is dash icons in this case. Let's head to responsiveness. And in responsiveness uh, tab, you can customize the padding between uh, the columns. And here we have this scroller, which is easy, very easy to customize. Uh, and you can also customize the breakpoints of the small screens, medium screens, and large screens. And don't forget to save the changes. Let's now head to default theme. And here we have some subsections. Let's first head to the menu. And here in the menu, we can customize the background of your menu, uh, your navigation menu, which can be a color or a gradient. And again, accordingly, you can change everything, the color, the text. And here you can see that we have the menu section here, the logo, the layout, and here for the menu, we're able to customize the height and the width. Again, with the scroller, with the logo, we're able to add our logo and link to it. Then again, height, background. For the layout, we can customize the margins and the layouts. Again, very easy to do them using this editable fields. And then for the links, we can choose a color, background, hovering color, background color, divider, and some effects if we want to have. And the same goes for the icons. Again, as you can see, we have a, an, an icon that we can choose for that specific menu, the color of it, the hover color. Then we can do the same for subtitle, the badge, for the button, and for the scroll bar. So once you do all this customizations, just again, make sure to hit save. Afterwards, let's head to sticky. In the sticky section, we can make the menu sticky on scroll. And you can set this on, on or off. And we can customize again the background, choose the background color here, the height, uh, and also uh, the maximum logo height in pixels. This is the mobile view. And here we can customize uh, the shadow either to show it or hide it. 
on mobile uh, navigation bar, we can choose a color for the border separator. And for the toggle, we can choose a um, toggle for, for the open toggle and for the close toggle. Again, we can choose different colors for those. And again, for the link, we can choose the margin and the border and customize the settings here. This is for the drop down. Again, we can choose to show or hide the shadow. Again, the margin, radius, border, background, some of the common customization options that we have in the remaining sections as well. For the link, for the title, for the icon, for the subtitle, as you can see, we have extensive customization options. Finally, we also have this typography and here you can choose from the font family, also from uh, font weight and style, and you can choose different ones for the general, just this is in general for the navigation and this for the menu. And we also have for the sub menu, the transform. So you can choose different phones for this, for the menu and for sub menu and the animations again, a very good one you can choose it for the text for the subtitle for the icon how they appear for the drop down again to see how the text appears either with bounce pulse or rubber swing tata wobble so you can customize all these things and you can also choose the speed of it uh when it's done when you're hovering or when you are looping or when you are loading it when that to happen and then you can also use this customize section for more advanced customization typing or uh, CSS code here. But now another important thing, which I'd like to mention is the real time customizer as we've already discussed. So if you click on customize, you're going to appear in the front end, but you're going to have the back end on this sidebar. So any change that we're going to make here in this configuration settings or in the responsiveness settings, which we had in the back end and which we've already covered, we also have them here. So any changes that we make here, we're going to see them reflected on our back end. This is going to give you a chance to understand whether this change is necessary or fitting into your current website style, let's say. So as you can see, the layout, the menu, sticky, mobile, drop down, we had all the settings in the back end and now they are just here and allowing us to see the changes reflected on our uh, front end directly and immediately. Well, that's it about code menu for today. And if you still got any questions concerning it, don't forget to drop them in the comments and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell to not miss out any of our upcoming videos on Layers plugins. And I'll see you next time. Bye.